so uh, what do you mean by phase space will consider first in statistical mechanics the state of the dynamical system with f degrees of freedom can be conveniently described using f number of generalized coordinates so generalized coordinates means they are position coordinates they can be represented as q1 q2 q3 so on up to qf where f is the number of degrees of freedom of the system then together with f number of corresponding momentum coordinates okay momentum coordinates are represented as p1 p2 p3 so on up to pf so there will be f number of position coordinates and f number of momentum coordinates okay so totally there will be two f number of coordinates needed to describe the state of the dynamical system remember we have to consider the dynamical system dynamical system means the system under motion its position and momentum are going to change continuously with time so to represent that simultaneously we need position coordinate and the momentum coordinates okay so that is how we can represent the dynamical system so such a space is called as phase space okay so the state of the system can be represented geometrically by a point in a 2f dimensional space called phase space okay which is spanned by f number momentum coordinates corresponding momentum coordinates means if you consider the cartesian coordinate system then corresponding momentum coordinates will be px py and pz that is component of momentum along x axis component of momentum along y axis and component of momentum along z axis so just to remember phase space means it is two f dimensional space used to represent the state of the system geometrically okay so this phase space is spanned by f number of position coordinates and f number of momentum coordinates where f is the number of degrees of freedom of the dynamical system that is so we can understand the phase space phase space is basically represented by position coordinates and momentum coordinate okay so that is what the point says next as an example the state of the moving particle along x axis can be represented by a point in a two dimensional space let us take the degrees of freedom of the particle is one it can move along only x axis okay <coughs> then what are the number of coordinates you need one position coordinate and one momentum coordinate so degrees of freedom is one so you need two f number of coordinates out of which one is position coordinate another one is momentum coordinate so if you take the cartesian coordinate system x coordinate is the position coordinate px that is momentum along x axis is the another coordinate to represent the state of that moving particle i have already told you phase space is used to represent the state of the dynamical system in general if a system is constituted by n number of particles each with three degrees of freedom let us take there are n number of particles each particle has three degrees of freedom what will be the dimension of the phase space so total number of degrees of freedom will be 3 into n so n number of particles and each particle has three degrees of freedom so total system has 3 n degrees of freedom so definitely you need 6n dimensional space so phase space corresponding to this system is going to be 6n dimensional space remember it is a purely imaginary you cannot represent diagrammatically it is imaginary okay so with 3n generalized coordinates and 3n number of momentum coordinates but you can represent the momentum and the position coordinate of each and every particle but the representation of that in phase space uh, visualization will be very difficult corresponding to this so just you have to imagine they they need 3n number of position coordinates 
and three and a number of of momentum coordinates totally this system needs 6n number of coordinates or it is a 6n dimensional space okay remember this this is how we can understand the phase space can be any dimensional space depending on the degrees of freedom and depending on the number of particles okay so that is how we can remember so what do you mean by phase point to phase line so that we will consider the state of the system is represented by a single representative point that is called as phase point in a phase space so in the phase space at a given instant of time if you find out the position and momentum of the particle that point can be represented in a phase space and that represents the state of the system it gives you complete information about the system so that representative point is called as phase point under new cartesian coordinate system only x y z on the point new group theory but in phase space you need one position coordinate and one momentum coordinate only new horizontal only uh, position tagondre vertical only momentum tagobeku only x y anta barudilla you will take the space or coordinate system which is having one position axis one momentum axis okay then you have to find what is the position of the particle and what is the momentum of the particle at a particular time and indicate the point point groups that point is called as phase point okay the phase phase alle each and every point is called as phase point that will be the representation of state of the system suppose time runs after a certain time some or all the coordinates take different values okay the particles will take different position and this that may take different momentum also that results in change of phase point a point in also it will take different coordinate it may take different position coordinate or it may take different momentum coordinate okay based on that phase point will change with time otherwise the system will take a different position and different momentum as it is dynamical system if you connect those phase point that is called as phase trajectory or phase line the collection of phase points with the change in time traces a curve in phase space called phase line or phase tra trajectory if you take the phase points collection of phase points locus of that phase points that will give you phase line that will represent the dynamical variation of the system how this dynamical system varies with time so that is given by this phase trajectory and how the system moves that is given by this particular phase trajectory okay so just remember phase space means it is a coordinate system spanned by f number of position coordinates and f number of momentum coordinate to represent that you need a 2f dimensional space called phase space the state of the system which is represented by a single representative point in the phase space is called as phase point only every point is called as phase point okay then collection of such phase points over trace a curve that is called as point on the phase trajectory represents one possible state of the system so phase trajectory means it is a collection of phase points phase point is a representation of state of the system a system ke moment system is there matte position is there in the phase point kodthade so phase line is collection of such phase points after a certain interval of time okay so each and every point on the phase line or a phase trajectory gives one possible state of the system okay if possible i'll show how phase line or phase trajectory can be understood okay i will show you as a running animation okay first let us consider this one complete this one now let us uh, understand what do you mean by macroscopic property and microscopic property macroscopic property means it is a measurable 
the quantity of the entire system. It is a macroscopic. Macro means large. Okay, which is measurable. Examples are pressure, temperature, volume. They are the thermodynamic variables or thermodynamic quantities. They can be measured for a given system. That is called as macroscopic property. Okay. So the measurement of macroscopic variables such as pressure, temperature, volume, they involves the measurement of time averages over an appropriate portion of the phase line. Remember, the system is dynamic and it may change its position and momentum. Okay. And then suppose you take a gas system consisting of a large number of gas molecules. Gas molecules will change their momentum and position. They will move randomly and continuously. Then if we want to find out the property of each and every molecule, so that is going to change with time. So phase line, you integrate that will give you the certain property. Okay. That is the macroscopic behavior of the system is understood on the basis of statistical average of behavior of microscopic states of the system. Okay, microscopic state means what? You have to find state of each and every molecule in the gas. You get gas in the example to order, right? The macroscopic variables and the temperature of the gas system, volume of the gas system, pressure of the gas system, they are macroscopic properties. Other than you study, you can take the average value of behavior of each and every molecule of the system interaction between the molecules, what is the kinetic energy of first molecule, second molecule, third molecule, etc. If you study that, if you take the average of those properties, you can find the macroscopic properties of the system. That is the fundamental concept of statistical mechanics. So finally, what I can conclude, if you want to study the macroscopic properties, the temperature of the gas system, complete gas system, find out you can take you can study the states of each and every molecule. Okay. So, pratyandu molecule do new kinetic energy, potential energy, or some other behavior or interaction between the molecules. By studying that, you can find the macroscopic properties of the system. This is the fundamental concept. And here, in statistical mechanics, we will take the statistical average of the microscopic properties. And there are smaller states. Microscopy means the smallest state of the system. That is the fundamental concept okay, of the statistical mechanics. That is the meaning of macroscopic and microscopic. Let us take the another concept called ensembles. Okay, what do you mean by ensemble? So already you have studied each point on phase line represents the different microscopic state of the dynamical system. So dynamical system will change its position and momentum because of that on the face line, each and every point represents a different microscopic state. In this static picture, at a given instant of time, all microscopic states have same macroscopic properties, which is same as the properties of the system. You understand this particular point? When there is no motion of the system in a static picture, static picture means it is stationary, the system is stationary. At a given instant of time, all particles will have zero momentum. It is a static state. Zero momentum with Andre, all molecules will have same property. Okay, and the position barrier, but the dynamical property will be same. If you take the kinetic energy, all molecules are having zero kinetic energy. Momentum zero. So all particles should have same temperature then. They must feel same pressure. Okay. Because of that, the each and every molecule has the same property as that of property of the entire system. That is when static picture is taken. But in the dynamical picture, what will happen? The molecules will change their property, other temperature barrier, other kinetic energy barrier other the pressure experience bear at through. Because of that, you have to study temperature of each and every molecule, kinetic energy of each and every molecule. Then you have to take the, the average of those properties to find the, the property of the entire system. 
ओके देन मेजरमेंट ऑफ मैक्रोस्कोपिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सिस्टम नॉट रिक्वायर्स टाइम एवरेजिंग ಯಾವಾಗ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡೈನಮಿಕಲ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎವರೇಜ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವರಿ ಮೋಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈನಮಿಕ್ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಮೂಮೆಂಟಮ್ ಇರಬಹುದು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಇರಬಹುದು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ you have to take the time average of those properties okay in order to find the property of entire system that is how we can understand static state all idre ella molecules same property all irthu dynamical picture agidre different molecules have different properties they will have different momentum they will have different kinetic energy because of that you have to take the average of the kinetic energy if you want to find out the the total kinetic energy of the system that is simple example so these are smallest states or these smallest systems are called as ensemble okay ensemble anta helthe andre if you take a gas system gas system is made up of large number of gas molecules and this is said to be collection of gas molecules and these gas molecules are called as ensemble they are the fundamental building block of this gas system so this is called as ensemble so the collection of identical non interacting independent imagined microscopic systems is called as ensemble okay the ensemble and you it is a system consisting of large number of microscopic systems andre adanna divide madlik barbek divide andre no it consists of large number of microscopic systems and other olagade bere bere sanna 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 systems irthade those systems are identical non interacting independent and they are microscopic in nature okay adella onde tara irod so for example you take the collection of 100 balls in a room on the room alli 100 tennis balls hakitar anthu kodri so that's a system so all tennis balls are identical they are non interacting they are independent and they are considered to be systems so this collection of tennis balls is an ensemble okay adike ensemble anta nevu helabodu ant gas system gas system olagade gas molecules irthodu so gas molecules are identical if you take the hydrogen gas all molecules are hydrogen only hydrogen molecules are identical to one another they are interact non interacting okay here we have to take the system in which microscopic systems are non interacting and they are independent a system and each and every molecule is independent so such collection is called as ensemble okay ensemble in short okay so basically the ensemble is defined in the view of macroscopic properties of the system which are independent of time you don't worry about this statement this will be uh understood if you go for go for the uh details of statistical mechanics later just you remember this that's all i will not explain that then the time average of some macroscopic property of the system in equilibrium is the same as the instantaneous ensemble average okay this is called as ergodic hypothesis id yen heltade if you take the macroscopic property of the system in equilibrium that will be same as the average value of the ensemble property okay ensemble andre nu it is a collection of large number of systems okay so simple example i will give you to understand this ergodic hypothesis let us take the gas system only gas system in a container let us take temperature of the gas system is 30 degree centigrade it is at room, room temperature so 30 degree centigrade is antandre according to this hypothesis if you find out temperature of each and every molecule of the gas system you can suppose there are 10 to the power 23 molecules are there one mole of the gas pratyond gas molecule temperature you find out made if you take the average of that temperature that will be same as 30 degree centigrade okay that is what this hypothesis says the average of some micro macroscopic property of the system in equilibrium is the same as the instantaneous ensemble average 
n symbol andre you have to take the property of each and every system in the n symbol okay that is what the ergodic hypothesis says okay next so different uh, properties of the different types of the n symbols you can study i'll skip that okay so basically in thermodynamics there are three important environments and they are characterized by macroscopic properties namely total number of particles total energy temperature and volume of the system they are the characteristic properties of the thermodynamic system suppose you take a thermodynamic system then they are characterized by the number of particles in the system total energy of the system temperature of the system and volume of the system based on these properties there are three types of system one is isolated system second one is closed system third one is open system isolated system andre enu isolated system means it it is the system which is not going to exchange number of particles and energy with the surrounding that is called as isolated isolated means <clears throat> it will not exchange the matter and energy with the surrounding okay, we will consider that so an isolated thermodynamic system is characterized by n constant value of n constant volume and constant energy they are not going to change so it does not exchange the matter and energy with the surrounding that is called as isolated system okay isolated system and that okay <clears throat> so you can consider the thermos flask so it will not exchange matter and energy with the surrounding that is good example for isolated thermodynamic system other temperature same irtu inside the thermos flask temperature of the liquid whatever you put that will remain constant for long time that means that will not exchange energy it will not exchange heat okay so it will not exchange matter also so such system is called as isolated system a closed thermodynamic system it characterized by number of particles n volume and temperature and here it exchanges energy but not the matter with the surrounding okay so let us take example of cooker pressure cooker okay pressure cooker a sealed cooker let us take a sealed pressure cooker it exchanges the energy it gets heated it is not insulated on the surrounding the heat will get radiated by the walls of the cooker but it will not exchange matter inside it adru olagade iruvanta in liquid boil aagutade that will boil inside and it will not exchange matter with the surrounding matter will not enter inside the cooker but energy will be exchanged between surrounding and the pressure cooker so that is called as closed system closed system mele enagutade energy can exchange but matter cannot be exchanged the third one is open thermodynamic system where it is characterized by temperature and volume and it it exchanges both matter and energy let us take example of the container which is open open container okay in which water is boiling where matter can be exchange, exchange exchanged with the surrounding and energy is also exchanged with the surrounding okay so these three thermodynamic systems have different names in the statistical mechanics okay idu kuda for the knowledge purpose so these are represented as micro canonical ensemble canonical ensemble and grand canonical ensemble okay illi isolated system anna naavu yen ant karithive micro canonical ensemble okay in which number of particles n volume v and energy they are fixed that is called as micro canonical ensemble the example is the thermos flask it corresponds to representation of the isolated thermodynamic system the only different name that's all in statistical physics the isolated thermodynamic system is called as micro canonical ensemble similarly the closed system is called as canonical ensemble okay the canonical ensemble is the ensemble of identical systems with the same number of particles n same volume and same temperature 
ಓಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ದು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಥರ್ಮೋಡೈನಮಿಕ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಬಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅದರ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಎನ್ಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಎನ್ಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐಸೋಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಎನ್ಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಎನ್ಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಓಪನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎನ್ಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಮ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಎನ್ಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆರ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಓಪನ್ ಥರ್ಮೋಡೈನಮಿಕ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಇದು ಓಪನ್ ಥರ್ಮೋಡೈನಮಿಕ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಐಸೋಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕೆನಾನಿಕಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಶೇರ್ ದಿ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಗೂಗಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಗೂಗಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ದ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದಿಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದರ್ ಇದನ್ನು ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳ್ರಿ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮುಗಿಸೋಣ ಸೊ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಬ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟಲ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈ ಡಿ ಝಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಪಿ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಪಿ ಝಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೇಂಡ್ ದಿ ಫೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಝಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪಿ ವೈ ಪಿ ಝಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ದಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಝಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಪಿ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಪಿ ಝಡ್ ಅದು ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಸಚ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಅದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಏನಿರ್ತದೆ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದ್ ಅಥವಾ ಎರಡು ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಮೆಂಟ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಮ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಆ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಮ್ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ
let us take 10 balls are there and those balls are numbered by 1 2 3 so on up to 10 okay so let us take i will take one ball up. okay so macro state of the system new specify madadandrenu so then inside the box there are nine balls which are remaining that is the macro state rough estimation a box tholagi matte nine balls are remaining anodu macro state suppose i have picked the ball number 1 so then micro state of the system and hang define madadre nu the inside the box there are balls numbered from 2 to 10 that is the micro state of the system micro state of the system andre nu it gives the complete information macro state andre nu it gives only rough estimation otherwise the brief explanation of that particular system you get one the ball number one iruvanta ball tegide antandre inside the box there are nine balls that is the representation by macro state micro state representation hang madbekagutade you have to specify which ball is taken out and which balls are inside the box there are balls numbered from 2 to 10 okay that is micro state let us take another example which one example kodna uh let us take two boxes are there two boxes and i have three balls three balls are there two boxes are there then i will throw the ball and those balls may fall in any box what are the different possibilities let us take balls are numbered 1 2 and 3 yav yav possibility bartade one possibility is all three balls can fall in a first box second box will become empty that is macro state three balls are in box 1 there are no balls in the box 2 that is macro state micro state hang helbek niu ball number 1 2 3 are in box 1 no balls are in box 2 another possibility i will take two balls will fall in first box then one ball will fall in second box alli yav yav possibility bartade ball number 1 2 can fall in first box ball number 3 may fall in third box otherwise ball number 1 and 3 may fall in first box ball number 2 will be in second box third possibility ball number 2 and 3 are in the first box. ball number 1 is in the second box so there are three micro states more possibility birthday more case alli first box alli yerad ball irutade second box alli one ball irutade so three possibilities are there those three possibilities are micro states macro state enu yerad ball first box alli ide one ball second box alli ide aste helodu macro state yava numbered ball first box alli ide yava numbered ball second box alli ide anadu micro state okay so micro state gives complete specification of a set of coordinates of each and every particle of the system whereas macro state gives only specification of phase points andre yestu particles yava box alli ide yava phase cell alli ide anodan matra helthu that is called as macro state okay so this is an illustrative example let us take seven balls seven balls are there a b c d e and f four boxes are there let us assume a b c in first box d is in the second box no balls are in third box and e f g are in the fourth box macro state represent bad othenge first box contains three balls second box contain one ball third box contain no balls fourth box contains three balls micro state and hang represent madodu ball a b c in first box d is in the second box no balls in the third box e f g are in the fourth box and each and every ball name should be identified that should be represented that is micro state okay so i will stop here uh, and all of you rejoin again i will show you the animation of face line yav tara face line and represent martare anudan torustane and just i will give you the micro state and macro state also so all of you rejoin if you have any doubts you can ask me now If you have any doubts, you can ask me. And I will show you 
ದಿ ಫೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಲೈನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಲೈನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯಾವ ತರ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾರೆ Okay, any doubts in this particular so all of you uh, take the notes shared in the google classroom google classroom alli notes share madidane all of you download that okay okay any doubts so all of you rejoin with the same link again okay mattame rejoin agre just i will show you the face line so face trajectory okay if you have any doubts you can ask me 